Greetings again, adventurers, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. In the last episode, we travel back 2,000 years in time to the Temple of Fiends at the height of its power, where our elusive foe resides, and he is not alone. The denizens of the Temple of Fiends are also here, and uh, they're going to make our journey that much tougher. Uh, fortunately we were able to break the uh, stone plate with the loot given to us by Princess Sarah, which will allow us to actually uh, infiltrate the temple proper. Uh, of course this is the part where uh, I kick myself for getting rid of uh, those heel helmets. They would have been incredibly useful, particularly at this point of the the adventure, which basically means that I am going to have to uh, go all out uh, with what I have. <sighs> really should have kept one of those helmets. Really, yeah. That opal helmet might uh, add a little bit of armor, but in hindsight, having a heel helmet or two would have actually probably been better. Never mind. But with the gate open, let us head down. And I believe we want to uh, get out of here as... Okay, we need to keep going fast because uh, there is no stopping here. Try and get to the next floor as quickly as possible. Because this place does not mess around. That said, a bunch of zombie dragons aren't too tough for us and... To be fair, Adam's uh, white shirt ability is going to help. Now we just need to head west before we... Alright, we just got uh, ambushed by a couple of worms and uh, again, really regretting the fact that I got rid of those helmets, but uh, what can you do? But having invisibility too is really going to uh, save us where it counts. And uh, Excalibur is actually quite a uh, potent weapon indeed. But uh, as we descend further through the temple, we're really going to be in a bit of a pinch. Ooh, 50 damage, I don't like seeing that. Probably could have used some spells there, but uh, why not? Actually, I want to save all of my major spells for uh, the fights ahead, and we are definitely going to be leveling up while we're in the uh, temple, that's for sure. We can leave via the exit spell, but we're going to have to come back all over again. Oh, now uh, just uh, let me check my map and. Uh, Make sure we're heading in the right direction. One moment, adventurers. Now this floor here is uh, the Chamber of Earth. Yeah, all the creatures that we fought in the Earth Cavern are here in the Earth Chamber of the Temple of Fiends. And waiting at the end of this chamber, the Fiend of Earth, Lich, the past incarnation is going to be waiting for us. So we want to, uh, yeah, we want to avoid combat as much as possible, but, uh, we're all gaining levels anyway, which is a, uh, good thing. And I do not want to fight a bunch of Great Medusas. No thank you. Uh, I can't go that way. But how? I just need to get the hell out of here. Okay, so Adam just got a level. Now we need to, uh, Make our way down here. Um, there is the stairs leading down, but uh, unfortunately our way is going to be guarded by a very familiar foe, because remember I said that this was the Earth Chamber. Guiding the stairs down to the next floor is going to be Lich, Fiend of Earth. Back for round two. So, uh, just allow me to uh, catch my breath and then we shall uh, go fight him. Okay, it's uh, time to get going. 
No time like the present, as they say. And right before I ran into Lich, I ran into a pack of Great Medusas. How very annoying. But, uh, well, we are as, about as ready as we ever will be. So it's time to face the Lich, yet again. Back of round two, and, uh, could use a harm at this point, but, uh, well, uh, I've got a harm four, but, uh, it's probably about, uh, all we're going to do, and actually, uh, I want to use, uh, anti-ice, because I've just remembered that the Lich can actually, uh, inflict ice attacks on us, but, uh, Try and uh, get something going here. And good, that ice protection went off first hand. Yeah, the Lich is uh, far more formidable now than he was when we fought him before in the Earth Cave. And. That was, uh, that was actually very unfortunate. 666 experience. That is, uh, truly foreboding indeed. Ah, well, uh, that was annoying. The Lich had Nuke. A spell that Yazir himself had yet to use. Ouch. That, uh, that is very unfortunate. So, uh, I shall, uh, heal my party members, and, uh, then we'll be on our way down to the next floor. Alright, we should be good now, and, uh, let us head down from the earth chamber to the fire chamber, and keep going. We want to get out of here as quickly as possible. Need to head in this direction. Alright, keep going. Threading the needle. Down here. Okay, all we're fighting so far are, uh, worms. Um, grey worms and ag agamas, I can deal with those. And before we fight Marilith, the fiend of fire again, to head in this room. And lo and behold, red dragons. Two red dragons at that. Well, it's uh, it's time for us to uh, have that rematch. Have uh, add in. Oh my word. Okay, that's not as well. That could have been better, but that wasn't as bad as uh, thought it was going to be. Hopefully, this will make up for my cowardice back at the ice cavern. And there's more. Oh, because there were two of them. Oh my word, please, please do not do that. Hopefully Theo and I can uh, finish these two dragons off. Well, it's up to you, Theo. Keeping Adon on defense with uh, invisibility too. And I have avenged a uh, humiliating defeat. Huzzah! Now we need to uh, go to this chest here. Final Pro Cape. Which I uh, am going to uh, be equipping to Adam. Right about now. Yeah, really wishing I had uh, Theo have a heel helmet. Um, so we could, uh, well, not have to worry about uh, healing it any other way, but, uh, can't really do anything about that. I'm probably screwed, but, uh, okay. Ignoring the glitches, we are about to fight Carrie, or Marilith, the fi Fiend of Fire. So, uh, just allow me to, uh, steal our party, and, uh, then we shall do battle. Alright, time to face the Fire Fiend. 
And Carrie, much like Lit, she's uh, in her prime. And uh, this time, uh, going to uh, defend and uh, hopefully do some damage. But uh, probably should have used fast on uh, Theo there. Probably should do fast on Theo there next time. But, uh, well, there's no getting around it because uh, Carrie has, uh, well, being uh, in her prime, she has uh, more formidable abilities uh, than her future incarnation. And, uh, fast on Theo since he's our main attacker. Fire 3 isn't going to do too much damage to us, although Yazir is in a uh, spot of bother here. But I uh, want to actually uh, get rid of her as quickly as possible. Thank the heavens. They do, well, they don't nearly give us enough uh, gill and experience, but we don't really need the gill, but we do need the experience. But we're going to get a lot of that. So uh, I'll heal up my party, and then we'll traverse from the Chamber of Fire to the Chamber of Water. One moment. Okay, that's the, uh, that is the best we can hope for. So, uh, I'll just, uh, head down to the next floor. And most of the rooms here are pretty much empty because there is no treasure on the, uh, Chamber of Water. But I shall just check the map to see, uh, that I am going to not get lost in this maze. So, give me another moment, adventurers. Okay, pretty straightforward path here if we don't dilly-dally. Probably going to fight some water enemies. Those cursed lobsters. Okay, we just need to... We can go either side, but we really... Okay, so we can't outrun water elementals. That's fine, no problem. Alright, so upon close introspection that I simply wasn't going to uh, be able to survive the encounter with Kraken, the Fiend of Water, much less get to said encounter, I decided to venture all the way back uh, to the present by means of Adam's escape ability, or exit, and I will... Did a bit of healing, did a bit of stocking up, did a bit of preparation, and I decided to get uh, a small amount of uh, cure magic for uh, Theo and myself. I um, also got uh, some more potions, uh, heal potions, which uh, I'm down to about half at the moment, and uh, well, I got most of my charges back for uh, what little it's worth because uh, we're still going to have to fight Kraken and even if we survive we're going to have to deal with uh, the Wind Chamber and the final fiend Tiamat which is going to be uh, incredibly uh, worrisome indeed but uh, Alright, we're almost there. Just need to head around these corridors just a little bit more. Go straight down here, around this chamber. Really don't want to be hit by lobsters. Now, uh, just ahead of that corridor lieth the mighty Kraken, fiend of, uh, fiend of water. So, uh, to uh, heal ourselves up and uh, really uh, make this count because we are pretty much, uh, yeah, if we fail again, well, if we fall short again, we haven't failed yet, but if we fall short again, we will have to go back and we will have to fight all our way back down to this floor again. So, uh, I'm going to, uh, take a small breath and uh, hope for our success. Alright, enough standing around. Let's fight the Kraken. 
who's even more formidable than it was uh, previously. And though we have uh, the white shirt to help us out, uh, this might not go the way we uh, hope, because Kraken can hit us uh, a large amount of times. Probably should have used fast on uh, Theo, just to uh, get everything going. Yeah, we survived the first round, but uh, hopefully we can survive the second. And uh, fast on Theo, hopefully... Uh... Oh, we just... okay. If Theo survives the next round, we might be able to pull this off. Of course, uh, that is if Kraken doesn't uh, curb stomp us in the process. Okay, we, uh, hopefully we should win this. Should win this battle, to be sure. Even more so now that we have the, uh, extra, uh, evasion, which is fantastic. Please work. Please. Okay, Lightning 2. We don't need to worry about Lightning 2. Really wish he had used Lightning 2 beforehand, but, uh... Critical hit from Theo, and termination. Kraken and the Water Fiend have been defeated. We don't care that, uh, that got us, uh, little girl. So now the water chamber is behind us. One final chamber remains. Well, of the fiends, anyway. The, uh, water chamber. Now, uh, I shall just, uh, do a bit more healing, and then, uh, we can move on. Alright, so now we could pretty much just go straight for, uh, Ma uh, no, uh, Tiamat. We're not going to do that. There is one treasure here on the wind chamber that we desperately need, and we're going to get that. Okay, I can deal with worms, but, uh, in order to get to this elusive treasure, we actually need to go a, uh, considerable way down, adventurous. Way out of our way. Okay, let's keep going. Really have to go out of our way here. And how many vampires do we count here? Four. Ah ah ah. One, two, three vampires. Ah ah ah. And one wizard vampire. Ah ah ah. Yeah, we need to deal with the vampires. Yeah, they're back. They're back in uh, full force. You would have thought that the vampires would be on the earth floor, but uh, apparently not. Apparently these vampires serve Tiamat. And hopefully we can do... Okay, kill one of the vamps. One vampire down. And, uh... Going to need to, uh, heal Adam. Hopefully, uh, before anything truly unfortunate happens. As long as, uh, Theo can get rid of that cursed wizard vampire, we should be fine. Okay, you missed. That was fantastic. That was absolutely fantastic. And you're gonna miss it again, because our evasion is just going to be through the roof by the time Adam has finished his cycle of spells. Apparently that vampire, uh, can sparkle with Dazzle. Rather curious. Yes, I know I made that reference. I probably shouldn't have gone all in, but we're going all in anyway. Because go us. Um, probably a, uh, spot of healing is in order, so, uh, one moment. That should, uh, be enough. Now on to, uh, this corridor down here. If... Okay, we can run from the other vampires. That's a, uh, good sign. But there it is. If we can just get inside the chamber. And there is the greatest of all treasures in the entirety 
of Final Fantasy. And it can only be found right here in the Chamber of Air of the Temple of Fiends. But what is this awesome treasure I hear you ask? Well, let's look inside and find out. In this treasure box we found the Mars Mune, or actually it's supposed to be the Marse Mune. This is the greatest sword ever made. Indeed, this is the most powerful sword ever made. But alas, Theo, it is not going to be yours. For it shall be mine. I am going to equip the Marse Mune. Right here, right now. There we go. The Masamune blade is now mine. Theo has the Excalibur from Smith the Blacksmith, and I have the Masamune, the most powerful sword in all of Final Fantasy. Interestingly enough, uh, despite being very similar to a katana, this weapon can be used by anyone, including Adon and Yuzia. But I fought long and hard to get this. I really did. So, uh, I shall meet you all back at uh, the chamber where Tiamat lies in wait, and then we can uh, proceed to uh, do battle. So, pe please be patient uh, just a moment, and hopefully we can uh, get through the uh, swarms of vampires. Alright adventurers, we've made it back to where we need to be. Beyond this chamber, the Fiend of Wind, Tiamat herself, lies in ambush. And as you can see, we are uh, fully prepared, but uh, our stocks are running severely low at this point. But uh, we must prevail. There is no other choice but forward. And of course, as I say that, I get attacked by a pack of air elementals, because why not? Well, let's face Tiamat. The evil dragon counterpart to Bahamut. For the second and final time, we shall be fighting against Tiamat. And you will finally see the Master Mune in action. And, uh... I believe it is time for a uh, fast on Theo and myself. And she does have thunder, she has fire, and she has ice all at her disposal, as well as poison. Hooray. But that is the power of the Master Mune. And combined with Excalibur, we shall truly, truly be unstoppable. And then, well. We'll have one more uh, fight left after this one, because there is that enemy to deal with, the power behind the fiends. But uh, if we can survive Tiamat, we will be uh, fantastic. And uh, I actually don't feel the need to use another fast at this point. And there's Bane. But fortunately, Bane was useless against us, which is, uh, what we want. That is the Master Mune, and hopefully, uh, Adam will keep us from being hit by any more of Tiamat's attacks. And Theo with a finishing blow. Huzzah! That was truly a, uh, terrifying gauntlet. But now we must press on. The fiends are behind us. There is only one way forward. And uh, just as I was about to head down the stairs, I was ambushed by four rock golems. Joy. We shall head down here. To the very heart of the Temple of Fiends. We have dealt with the four fiends above. Lich, Marilith, Kraken, and Tiamat. And now, when we return, adventurers, we shall deal with the power that has travelled back 2,000 years in time, 
and gave them ultimate power in the future. The one responsible for the time loop is our true enemy. As always, dear adventurers, until next we meet.